This is my ice cream experiment. My ice cream experiment supplies. I used heavy whipping cream, rock salt, ice, and grocery bags. My ice cream experiment set steps. Assemble all your materials. Pour a cup of heavy whipping cream into a smaller grocery bag. Tie a knot at the top of the bag so that the cream won't escape. In a bigger grocery bag, add three tablespoons of salt and about a liter of ice. Place the smaller bag in the big bag. My ice cream experiment steps part two. Tie off the bag and shake it for about 10 minutes. Take the small bag with the whipping cream out and observe. It should be more frozen than before shaking the bag. My ice cream experiment results. This experiment worked for me. My materials were not the best, but the milk turned into ice cream. If I do this again, I will add sugar and vanilla to the milk so it tastes good as ice cream. My ice cream experiment. The science behind the salt on the ice. Salt forms a thin layer on the ice and salt water has a lower freezing point than regular water. This salt causes the ice to melt and depressing the freezing point and not by adding internal energy. The freezing point of ice reduces from 0 degrees Celsius to negative 2 degrees Celsius. The ice becomes cool, colder by adding the salt to it. My ice cream experiment, the science behind shaking the bag. Because of the low temperatures, ice crystals form in the cream. When you shake the ice cream, it disperses the ice crystals. The ice crystals continue to grow in the low temperatures. Because of the shaking, the ice cream isn't just one solid block, but a light and creamy delicacy.